And thank you so much for supporting my channel and my pages. It really means a lot to me and I really appreciate you for doing it. And here is one of the perks you get in exchange for your support. I created this website as one place for YouTube members Patreon and Facebook fan supporters to get all of my design space projects. So here's the home page, and here are two links. And you can see that they're links because when you go over them, they're pink. This link takes you to Patreon. This one will take you to my Facebook fan supporter welcome video. And this one takes you to the YouTube membership. And this one just takes you to my YouTube channel in case you're not subscribed. Here are my main Facebook groups. So you can click on any of these pictures and they will take you to Facebook. If you're a member of Facebook, this will take you to Facebook. I'm already a member to this one, so it just brings me to the group. But if you're not a member, it will ask you to join. So you can ask to join and I will accept you. Let me walk you through the next pages. So here's contact me. If you ever need my email, my email is the first thing on this page. You can copy and paste this to email me. And then my Facebook fan page. Please like my page. And here's my personal page. You can follow me here also. And Pinterest and Twitter and Instagram and of course YouTube. And again, here are the places you can support me at. And then here's a way to support me at no extra cost to you. My Amazon store. Here's the Cricut link. If you ever want to go shopping on Cricut, if you go through this link or any of the links I post on social media, I do get a small commission and it doesn't cost you any extra. And my code is right here. And then all these other stores. If you shop any of these, you can just click these links and it will give me a small commission. And I really appreciate it. Now let's go to projects by type. So projects by type is a place where you can get my Cricut design space files. The difference of projects by type and projects by occasion is if you're looking for something specifically for a birthday and you don't have to customize it at all, you might want to go to by occasion or you're looking for a Father's Day card or a Mother's Day card or graduation and you don't want to edit a card and add your own stuff, you want it finished, you want to go to by occasion. And we'll get to that in a minute. But if you're looking for the large paper flowers or you're looking for something you want to make in the maker that's specific for the maker or you're looking for a specific type of card or you're looking for an iron on to put on a shirt or a vinyl, you can come to projects by type. Let's click that. Okay, this is where you put the password in. Now the password will change every single month. Within the first five days of the month, you will get a post every time it's changed. If you're on Patreon, Patreon will email you the post or you can go to my Patreon page and get it. YouTube, it'll be on my channel under community. And the Facebook supporters, it will be on my Facebook page but only two supporters. If by chance you cannot find the post with the password, you can always go back to contact me. Whoops, let's hit cancel. If you put in the wrong password, this is the page you get. It will take you to these places where you can sign up. But if you can't find my password, you can message me or email me right here. When you do, let me know where you support me at because I have to look up your name and make sure you're a supporter. Otherwise I will get thousands of people just messaging me. Hey, what's the password? So I do have to make sure you are a supporter in good standing. That means you're not declined. So let's go back to projects by type. Password right now is so I'm going to click OK. OK, now here's the projects by type. And when you're using these projects, please post them everywhere on social media when they're finished. Share your finished projects and hashtag with Melody Lane Inspired. Never share these links. This one, the first two are videos. I have all the videos highlighted in pink. So you know these are videos. And then these are all the files. I'm not able to add pictures to all of these because there are so many. And if I did that, you would not be able to load this page. And it would take forever every time you come back to this page if it had a lot of pictures. 
I don't want to do that to you. So all of my files, all you have to do is click on it then and it opens up design space to the project. And then all you have to do is click make it. Now there are some cards that are empty that you can design on your own, but most of them are finished. And now when you click on a link, it opens a new tab in your browser. So you don't have to keep going back and adding your password. So this opened a new tab of design space and I can just go back and I'm back to the same tab where I left off and I can click another one. And I now have another tab open and then I can go back and choose another one. So at the top of this page, this is the projects by type. I start with vinyl and iron on projects. And as I add more projects to the vinyl and iron on, they will be at the bottom of the vinyl and iron on. So they will be down here. Although wine glasses and these are also vinyl and iron on, they're kind of in a subcategory. So I will add new ones to the bottom here. And then next we have our paper projects. And we start with the large paper flowers. If I add more sizes of these flowers, I will add them to the bottom of each one. Now, if I add a new flower, like we added the flower number two lately and the daisy and the poinsettia, they will always be underneath. So the next new flower will be right underneath the poinsettia. And now we have greeting cards. We start with box cards because this is the first file I designed on Design Space when I first started back in 2014. So every new design, if I make a new box card, I'm going to put it right under here. Now this is the Z Fold box cards. This is a more recent box card like the snow place like home and the Christmas one we just did and the season's greetings. These are kind of newer, but I put them under the box cards because they are a box card kind of. So I put it under box cards for the Z fold box cards. As I make more, they will be under here and more exploding box cards will be right under this category and so on. So it's going to go like that. If I make more step cards, which I plan to, under here. More spinner cards will be under spinner cards. So these are not in alphabetical order, but they're in order of when they were created. And if you're new to using my design space files, it might not make any sense to you, but as you get used to it, you'll know where to go. And when you're looking for a specific type of card, you don't have to read all of this. You can read this. They're in purple and they're underlined and bold and bigger. So you can just scroll down and look for these to see what you're wanting. So there's gift card holders and money cards. And these are just plain cards that you can add your own thing to. But you can add your own thing to a lot of these. Like if it says base card, this is a blank card. You can create anything you want on there. This one's a blank card under easel card. This one is too. This is a round easel card. Circle spinner card. It is a blank card. And there's a blank step card right here. So let's scroll down. There's screen cards, word albums, pop-up cards, twist and pop-up. We have flip cards. These are all kind of plain cards at the base and you got a circle and a heart. And then here's the video. The video, hopefully I did it correctly and added all these in pink. If you see anything I made a mistake on on this site, please let me know. Here's masculine cards. And then the envelopes. So the envelopes will always be underneath all the cards. So if I bring in a new type of card, I'm probably going to add it right here above envelopes. Here's some Cricut Cutie projects. Some earrings, rosettes, cake toppers. I know I have another cake topper and I can't find it right now, but I will be adding it. And then 3D projects. 
And we have some miscellaneous things. Stencils, the accordion pivot decor that I've done recently, and the cutout letters. You get down to all the letters, there's a butterfly. There is a video on this, but I will be adding the video because I see I missed it. So the video will show you how I did that. And leather earrings. And then these are maker projects. The blade box and the bench. The ornament display. The gumball machine, because that works best when you use the maker with it. And the pillows. And as I add more maker projects, they will be down here. And please don't be afraid to ask me for some new files, some different files. If there's a specific one you want, let me know. Okay, now let's go to projects by occasion. And we put in the same password. So we have Valentine, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, Mother's Day, graduation. And some of these graduations, like this is 2017, you would want a 2019 now probably. If you see one, that is not current, please let me know and I will fix it for you. And I will be happy to do that. Like this one I've already made in 2019. And Father's Day, Independence Day, Fall and Halloween, Hanukkah, Christmas, and more Christmas and birthday cards lots of birthdays thank you lots of thank yous wedding anniversary then we have the season spring summer fall winter these are more things that are specific to the season teacher baby sorry and then all occasions i say go to the projects by type because you can use most of those for all different occasions. So please let me know if you have any questions and I will be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. I love you. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.